Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon 2, Gateway to Ripto's Glimmer Age. <laughs> uh, first thing I'm going to do in this video is try out a cheat code. Uh, it apparently only works on the Switch version of the game at the moment, so I'm on Switch version of the game, I might as well give it a try. Uh, so apparently I have to pause the game, then I press R, 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 left, 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 down, up, Y. Like that. It worked! Yes! Spyro is now wearing pride sunglasses. That is officially what this cheat code is for. It makes Spyro wear queer rights sunglasses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, it's only on the Switch version. You can press R, 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 left, 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 down, up, Y. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, okay, so actual gameplay for this video. Um, we've done a couple of the levels of this world. We haven't really finished any of them, but we need a few more moves to do the other ones. So uh, for the moment, Pride Spyro here is going to go visit another one of the levels in this world. Uh, if we head this direction, we're going to want to swim underwater. Oh, we could do Colossus. I don't remember what any of these levels are about. Um, I'm less familiar with this game than the first one, as you may recall from me saying that over and over. Um, so I'm gonna go into this one, I suppose? Colossus? Let's have a look. Entering Colossus. Okay, so Colossus is a level, not a boss, otherwise it would say confronting. In we're still wearing the glasses. Pride Shades! Pride Shades! <laughs> there are cheats that give you stuff like extra lives and all that as well, but... This is the most important cheat, obviously. Pride shades. Pride shades. Apparently some of the some of the cheats are derived from the original games. Like if you typed them in in the original PlayStation 1 game, the same thing would happen, but this one is new, I believe. Okay, so we got a big growly fellow. We got a goat. A flying goat. Oh, are they gonna feed a goat to that guy? Oh, I see. I see. They fed the other guy to that guy, not the goat. Ha! Uh, a, a guy is dead now. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I don't know if we can do this level all in one go or we'll have to come back. I'm guessing we'll have to come back based on the pattern so far. Has been rampaging around our home. Oh, that was a Yeti, okay. to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Thank you. Check out those shades, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing these for the entire game, in case you were wondering. I think they'll go away when I quit, so I'll have to redo the code, but that's okay. I'll just do it again. It'll become muscle memory. <laughs> Because obviously I'm going to wear the pride shades for the whole game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I think I've got everything out here, so I'm let's get going. I should be able to open this door for you. Thanks, Brother Arnie. Yep, it worked. That's a happy friend. Ah! Oh! Scary. <laughs> do, 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 do. I don't know what moves I need to clear this area. Hopefully not too many. 4%. Okay, so there's three orbs and a talisman here. Pretty standard. Grab, grab, grab. I assume these penguins are where the butterflies are? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Does this do anything? It looks like the stick's made of wood, but it's not... It's not inflammable. It a key when you know how to chant like this. I mean, it'd be useful to have a key. In case the door was actually closed. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Yeah, I already took out several of them, Zoe. The 
thanks for saving my game, but I mean, I, I already know how to defeat the Yaks. I've been defeating several of them up to this point. Um, you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particle oh, that's what those are, okay. Power up in that world. If a power up isn't active, you need to defeat more enemies. Okay, so I need to defeat 11 enemies to activate this. Hopefully, we can do that. We'll see how we go. Uh, we can't actually get up there just yet. We'll have to come around from a different angle. So let's head in here. Smash all those. Show you everything? Yeah. Can't reach up there just yet. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, look what I can do. What can you do? Oh, you can move that so that I can't stand on it. Oh, okay, it moves back. <laughs> Use an extra life, I'd like that. Heck yeah. Okay, we got on top of this thing, ride it up. Woohoo! Then we can head over here, smash these, smash these. My eye is itchy, why is my eye itchy? Ugh, that's not pleasant. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, hang on. So do I open that? No, that's just a wall. Just the lighting was a bit weird. Do you have something to tell me, Zoe? Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Yeah, I know. Oh, you yeah, have to glide over there. That makes sense. <laughs> Not too difficult, really. Especially with my pride shades on. Nearly killed enough enemies. Just one more. I think that might be the Yeti, is the eleventh enemy. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe not. I can see some more enemies over there. Hmm. We'll see. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that Yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Hmm. <laughs> I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our oh my God. talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. So can I have it? Heck yeah. Pyro said gay rights. <laughs> I am so freaking happy about this cheat code, honestly. <laughs> Let's go skating on the ice. Can I burn? Might melt the ice with my flame? Doesn't look like it. That's probably a good thing because I don't want to fall in the water and freeze. I wonder how much more stuff I can access at the moment. Let's find out. Okay, I can reach you, and you have two orbs, oh, apparently. Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would really now? Join in a match against our goalkeeper. All right. We have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. All right. I don't know how to do this. Um, oh, I can maybe put it in my mouth like that. Okay. Ow! Wow. 
one. I think I needed two, was it? Or was it I need five? I don't remember. I think it might have been two minutes and five goals. I've already forgotten. That, that bodes well. <laughs> okay, this isn't too tricky, actually. It just took a little getting used to. The controls are a bit weird. I don't know if the scoring a score in the blue goal actually hurts me or not. Maybe it does. Anyway, this isn't too tricky. Ah, dang it. Spyro, you were supposed to eat that. Looks like a scoring in a blue goal does nothing, so that's interesting. Makes perfect sense. Four. Your goalie is terrible. <laughs> Give me that pocket buck, let's put it in my mouth. I'm wearing pride sunglasses. Well done. Have this. Give me that orb. Yeah. Would you like to try again? Okay. First to score five goals with Okay, so in, in this mode in, in this mode like we're actually competing and there's two players. Okay, I see. Is there a goal on the other side as well? A goalkeeper on the other side? I'm not sure. Yes, there is. Okay, so this is just a harder mode. Of sorts. It's not actually much harder. <laughs> Getting hit doesn't do anything. Like, you don't take damage. So, it's, it's not difficult to damage boost your way through stuff. Uh, although, I think you do drop the hockey puck. But, like, you can get hit after shooting the puck and you're completely fine. See, this is not hard. <laughs> it's not even a time limit now, so it's actually much easier. <sighs> it's an interesting design decision to make this one the, the second one when it's clearly not as difficult as the first one. <laughs> Oops. I'm guessing my goalie stinks. Yeah. That's kind of what I expected. I wish I could change my speed, but I don't think I can. Like, charging doesn't do anything when you press that button. Which is weird, because normally, like, no matter what, like, situation you're in, charging will speed you up. I mean, sort of. Like, when- I mean, when, like, when you're swimming and stuff, it works, is what I'm- what I'm trying to say. It's not very well. Stuck behind you. I'm having some troubles here. Yeah, four out of five. <laughs> I don't know how calming and like non violent this game is when I'm being beaten up by the bears with the hockey pucks. Not the hockey pucks, those other things, sticks. <laughs> well done. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Is that a threat? <laughs> anyway, we got both orbs. Uh, there is a third orb somewhere in this level that we'll be needing to get. Uh, so I'll have to have a bit of a look around, see if we can find that. Uh, let's also make our way... Can we go past here? Yeah, we can just go on the, to the, onto the track while they're playing and just make our way to the other side. Uh, we can't actually jump off while we're on the ice, which is a bit weird. Uh, I seem to be playing hockey now, even though it's not scoring me or anything. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't do anything if I actually get a, get a score. Jump out! Spyro, jump! Jump! I can't- <laughs> I'm stuck! Okay, you, ha you have to get into the side here where it's like a little ledge. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think going over there helps me very much by the looks of things, so I won't. I wonder why Spyro can't just jump off the ice. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, um... I'm still short something. 
Uh, there's one more orb and there's a bunch of more treasure. However, we've also activated this thingy now. Which is a... Uh, arrows. Oh, it's a big jump power up. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And let's just get in here. Oh, hello. Uh. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay. Okay. Now I have a reason to do that, so that's cool. I guess the statues are now no longer fireproof. Yes. Sort of. And that'll get me the other orb I need. Did, did you go around here? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, and I have to go back to the other spot that had a super jump platform in order to get somewhere. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm guessing if I super jump facing a different way. Yeah, I can go up to other places. Uh... Woohoo! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there we go. I think there's another statue down here, right? So if you look closely at the statues, you can see that they're like grumpy and stuff. And you flame them, they're happy again. Because the spirit's gone. It's pretty cute. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we've got to keep finding home statues. Uh, I believe if we head down here, there's some more. Oh no, that's a real one. There's a statue. <laughs> uh, and there was some more earlier. Yeah, here's some. Seven. Were there any all the way out here? Hmm, I don't think so. Oh, there's some stuff I missed. I think I came all the way back here. <laughs> Gotta get all that treasure. All that tasty, tasty treasure. I don't think dragons in this series eat treasure. It's not like it's not like my little pony, but you know, tasty treasure. It's a little fiddly to control that. You can start gliding, like, in midair, which makes it a bit easier. Yeah. It's not too bad when you do that. Okay, I don't know how to break that. Um, hmm. Let's keep going this way. Because there's another statue over here. And some other loot and stuff. Might be something along this wall as well. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Huh. It's kind of surprising. I would have put some loot up here if I were designing this area, but apparently not. I guess in like, whatever it was, 1994 or something when this game came out? 6? 996? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what year this game came out at all. Uh, maybe if I land directly on it, it'll like break, open, break it open. Because of the super jump powers or whatever. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go over here though. Because there's more gems. And there's one of these hidden in the cave. And some more gems. And that's about it. But it's still worth a visit. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do with that one. Hmm. 
I know how to get over there, though. You just go this way. And you drop down. Like so. Oh, hang on, there's a rocket there. There we go. Just launch that rocket, and it'll blow that open, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, um... I feel like I probably can't get around that corner. It looks like there's maybe like an invisible wall or something. Hmm. It's also possible I just messed it up, but you know. Dang, it's Spyro, you were supposed to land on that platform. There we go. Yeah, the easiest way to do it is to start gliding and then use the hover move. Okay, I have all the treasure now, so all I gotta do is figure out what the last uh, statue or whatever it is. Does Sparks tell you where it, where it is? Doesn't look like it. Sparks doesn't have that information. Maybe it's in here somewhere? Yep, there it is. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Well, uh, they might. They might need it. Did you get their permission to borrow it? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. Okay, this level is actually 100% completed, which is the first time we've managed to do that, which is kind of exciting. So uh, let's go to the home world home now, which is this direction, actually. And progress to another level, I suppose. Uh, 22 minutes? Yeah, I think we can squeeze in another level. Oh dear. That's not good. Anyway, yeah, that's the first level we've 100%ed, which is pretty exciting. I'm guessing these, these shades gave us good luck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, returning to Summer Forest. So yeah, that's Colossus done. Uh, if we breathe some fire, like so, there we go. We should have access to pretty much everything in the hub now, I think. Oh, maybe there's some stuff we got to climb, I don't remember. Yeah, I think we need to be able to climb and we haven't got that ability yet. Um, okay, so the other levels are going to be this way. So let's swim on through here. I do really like the swimming controls in this game, even if sometimes they're a little fiddly. For, like traveling around fast, they're great. <sighs> okay, so we've already done that level, Sunny Beach there. Um, we haven't 100 percent of it, but I don't think we can yet. I think we need some extra power-ups and stuff. Uh, Horikos here, we haven't done it all yet, so let's go there next. Entering Horikos. We didn't get any more treasure, so there's just some frame rate drops during this little bit. I feel like they should probably patch that, but I don't know if they can. Hmm. I guess it's just doing too much during that little little moment there or whatever. Hmm. Anyway, Horicross is also a level despite sounding kind of like a boss battle name. We got some friendly electric fellows, we got some scary purple fellows, we got that guy with a big wrench. Okay. I assume the little blue guys are friends. Are you my friends? We've had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I'm not quite sure that's what a diode does. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Well, you do have like weird zappy things in front of your eyes, that could be why. Oh. 
Okay, so that is not a diode. That is a light globe. Which is not a diode. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if you put a diode into a circuit backwards, it would it would break the circuit, but... If, if there's nothing there, that should also break the circuit. If a diode will break the circuit. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Also, that's definitely a light globe, not a diode. Diodes look completely different. And a light globe would not block the electricity, it would flow through. It's sort of the point. I don't remember this level, I'm not sure I've ever played it before. Because again, I didn't play nearly as much of this game as the first one. Ow. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. <laughs> Okay, I can see some more stuff up there, but I don't think I can quite reach it from where we are. We need to glide from a bit higher up to get to there. Or maybe get like a whirlwind or something, I don't know. Unless there's like a step from the back I can take? Oh, mm, maybe. Oh, yep, there we go, there we go. Ooh. That was scary. <laughs> Okay, so we have two light globes now, which are not diodes. That is not what a diode looks like. <laughs> so we can uh, put the light globes into two fences to turn them off for some reason, because that's totally how electricity works in, in the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even that good at, at electronics, but I do happen to know what a diode looks like, and it's, it's, it's not like that. Hey, Zoe. Heck yeah. Okay, we need 18 to unlock the power up, so we're gonna need to keep beating up these guys. We passed halfway, so that's cool. I'm not sure if these windmills do anything. There's no counter for them, but... Maybe there will be, and like, we're just gonna see it show up in a bit. I can see a switch behind this, uh, behind here, but I can't reach it. I must need to do something else first. I also don't know what it would do anyway. There's another light globe. It's not a diode, it's a light globe. They're different things. It's an incandescent light globe, which does not function as a diode. That's a fact. Maybe they want it to look like a vacuum tube, but vacuum tubes look different. Like, they don't look the same as light globes. They are different devices that operate differently. And you can clearly see that there's one wire running through these little tubes that would be, you know, the filament that is a single circuit, not a diode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... To clarify, what a diode is, is an electrical, like, a piece of electrical equipment that will allow current to flow in only one direction through it. You can make them using something kind of similar to an incandescent light, light globe, which is called a vacuum tube or a valve, but it doesn't look the same as a light globe, it looks a little bit different. And these don't look right. Um, these days they're usually made using solid state stuff instead, which is much smaller and cheaper and more reliable than using actual vacuum tubes, which tended to fail and need replacing all the time. What's this thing? Uh, I have an electricity in my mouth. Do, do I want that? Oh, I see. Okay, I need to power up these thingies. I, I think. I'm a little confused. Okay, those guys don't count as enemies according to the counter, so that's a bit weird. 
Uh, I guess I want to power this up, but the purple guy was, was unplugging everything, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little confused. <laughs> uh, I think all the ones over here are now active. Uh, that looks like a climbable thing, but I can't climb it yet, so... I won't be able to get everything, unless that's not actually climbable, this looks like it's climbable. Which is possible. Okay, so that, that's that's what I've been I figured out, yeah, before you before I talk to you. Okay. Gotta replace the lightning stones. Now ah, come back. So yeah, Sparrow can grab stuff in his mouth and that's an exciting new mechanic in this game, so it, they use it all the time. <laughs> I guess. I guess these guys are the gear grinders, the big purple ones? Uh, I thought the guys with the wrenches were gear grinders, but may maybe not. And maybe it's these guys. I think that's all of them, so I can probably just... No, no, wait, are they respawning? Are they respawning? Because I don't, I don't want that. I would prefer them not to do that. Maybe you have to kill all ten of them before they stop respawning or something? Hmm. Yeah, I'm completely unfamiliar with this part of the game. I I've only played like a few levels in Disparo 2, so this is a new experience. Especially with this, this new cheat on that makes Spyro so prideful. I love you, Spyro. Yeah, I think they're probably respawning when, when I walk away, so that I have to kill all ten of them, even though there's only cl clearly only two. Looks like I have to lure them out by repeatedly doing this, maybe? This is a little weird. Yeah, I think if I just go back and forth, they'll probably be in both places. And that's how I can get all ten of them? I don't know. So I was sure the guys with the wrenches were the gear grinders. Like, these guys are just running around. The other guys were doing stuff with wrenches, you know, grinding gears. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go back and forth first, and then I can replace the stones once they're all gone. Because apparently there's only ten of them. Plonk. Oh, I can charge them. Okay, I thought they were too big for that, but apparently not. <laughs> Nine. And ten. Okay, they should stop showing up and removing the stones now, so I can put all the stones back and they should stay there. In theory. <laughs> Sparrow, eat that stone! A stone full of electricity is a safe thing to put in your mouth. <laughs> Kids, always put batteries in your mouth. Because <laughs> that's essentially what's happening here. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> That's what these are, right? Batteries. Like the little rocks that electricity comes out of, that's basically what a battery is. I mean, sort of. It's got acid and stuff in it, but it's similar to a rock. <laughs> hey, you, come back here. Get in my mouth. Get in my belly. There we go. Okay, so I've activated the, um, you, the Big Daddy helmet. Is it an orb? It is an orb! <laughs> okay, how are we doing? Uh, slowly. This level's taking longer. It's got the same amount of stuff in it, but it seems to be taking longer than the previous one. Or I might just be getting impatient. I 
think there's not much else we can do over here now, so I guess I'll head back this way. Only have 14 enemies, and those guys I was taking out earlier don't count, so that number didn't go up. Oh, I haven't been this way yet. And I have plenty of light globes, so I can put one in here. And one in there. Seventeen, we're getting there. What if taking out these little windmills is useful? It doesn't have a counter or anything, but maybe it'll make something else happen if I get all of them. But maybe it won't because there's no counter. Hmm. Ow! That didn't quite work the way I wanted. Anyway, the power up will be active now, but I'm gonna keep going this way for the time being. Rather than going back and doing the power up immediately. There's definitely something behind those buttons that's going to be active sooner or later. It's going to be interesting. Behind those windmills. The buttons behind those windmills. I said that wrong. <laughs> um, well, there's something up there, but... I don't know how I'm going to get up there. I guess we'll see. Rats. We're rats. Where the rats? We play at night with the stalk at night. We're putting a light globe into a slug. It just doesn't make sense. What, why would putting a light globe in there like break the circuit when there's nothing there? Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. Uh, we've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward. Thanks, Brainy. Oh, it's a gear, that makes sense. Okay, so that's the exit, but I don't want to leave just yet. I've only got about half of the stuff that we need to get here, so let's keep looking around. Um... That looks like a platforming challenge, if I can get to it, but it's up too high. I guess I'll go back to where the power-up is and see what it is. It might be another high jump. No, it's something else. Oh, it's supercharge. Okay. So if I supercharge at that, I can break that open. I'm guessing I can supercharge through these windmills as well, in order to break them open and get to the switches behind. Yep. Don't know what that does. Oh, I see. It's going to turn these into platforms. Interesting. So it's slowing these down, which means I'll be able to jump on them without, you know, falling and stuff. Ah, dang it. As far as I know, there's only the one power-up in the level, so I have to come back here. Okay, so yeah, that gives us access to all these extra platforming challenges because we can press these switches to slow the windmills. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. The, like, theme of this area is sort of all over the place because it's got, you know, gears and stuff, but it's also got windmills. And it's, I mean, gears and windmills sort of go together, but it's also got all this electricity-based stuff. Like, the, the good guys are electrical guys, and the bad guys are called gear grinders, but the good guys give us a gear as the talisman. It, it's a mess of different types of technology that don't really go together. <laughs> ah, nearly. That, that's a really sharp turn, just there. Ah, not quite. 
It helps if you could slow down while doing a supercharge, but obviously you can't because it's a supercharge and that would defeat the whole idea of a supercharge. There we go. Spiral, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Maybe you could share it with them? Like, rather than, you know, hoarding electricity for yourselves, you could you could share it. Like, fairly and, and evenly and that sort of thing. Just a suggestion. Just, just an idea I had. Uh, I call it communism. Uh, is there anything around here? Apparently not. I mean, I know the exit is below me, but I don't want to go to the exit, so... It's time for a silly platforming challenge. Are you ready? It's actually really easy. <laughs> I thought it'd be a bit harder than that, but it wasn't <laughs> super easy. <laughs> Thanks, what, the Electrol? Um, how do I shut down the factory? The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill or you won't make it. Okay. Is there like a checkpoint here or something? That'd be great. Yes, there is. Fantastic. That's what I like to have. Woohoo! That was, was not hard, actually. Uh, I guess I want to go to the other windmill next. I, I guess. No, nope. Dang it. Spyro. You're supposed to not fall off. Uh, good thing there's a checkpoint. So yeah, you just go around here. Now there's a little whirlwind here to take you back up to this spot. Uh. Now I can't do it. <laughs> Spyro, you did it a second ago. It wasn't that hard. Can I stand on that? A little ledge there? Hmm. Huh. It looks like you'll be able to, but you can't. That's a little annoying. There we go. There we go. It's not even hard. What were you, what were you doing, Sparrow? Okay, I think we go over there now. So let's hop onto this fan blade and just ride it in that general direction. I wonder if I needed to slow them down to do this, or it would have worked at full speed. Okay, then I have to glide over there, right? Okay, then we've got some more platforming to do. Uh, heck yeah. Spyro, Hi, Rose, Spike. The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. Are you, like, hyper vulnerable to noise, or I'm confused? <laughs> Okay, so we're right near the exit now. We're just gonna head in this way. Okay, so they couldn't hit the button because they hate noise. For shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Is it knob? <gasps> it's an knob. Woohoo! All orbs collected. 100% <laughs> level complete. Okay, that's two levels completed. 
Um, I'm surprised that I've got to the ones that can actually be completed now. I thought, you know, it would be, like, more moves I needed for all of these, but apparently not. These two, 100% done, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's head out. Uh, I think I'll call that a video. Uh, we tried out an amazing code. Ooh, a tasty, tasty light globe. Oh, it's one of those incandescent globe. Wait, why was it active if the glo globe was in there? I thought that switched it off. <sighs> Nothing makes sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're arriving back at Summer Forest now. And yeah, next time I guess we'll wrap up probably this world, I think. Uh, we will pro probably need to come back once we get the climbing move to finish everything. I think that's in World 2. Uh... So I'll probably just have an episode where I come back and do everything that needs climbing, and then we'll continue from there. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!